morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, episode of our Facebook Live. Today, we're going to be focusing on a new product that Stahl's launched back in August. It is called CADCUT Metallic. It's a soft material that works as a replacement for our typical two-step foil application. So if you're used to using a vinyl cutter with adhesive and then adding foil, or you're used to screen printing adhesive and applying foil on top of it in a two-step application, Stahl's CAD Cut Metallic actually cuts that down to one step. So you're cutting, weeding, and heat applying all in one step. We have four items on the table here today that I am going to show you how to apply. And there's four items because we have four new colors that just launched. So CAD Cut Metallic originally launched with a silver and a gold version of the material. And we have launched four more colors. The first one we're going to show you today is purple. After that, we're going to look at light blue. Then we will look at hot pink. And then we also have a rose, which is our best-selling new color. It has been out for probably two to three weeks at this point. I believe these new colors came out. But as we go through these applications, we're going to talk you through exactly what we're applying to, how we're applying it, and how you can achieve these looks. So without further delay, let's head over to the heat press and see the new colors of CAD Cut Metallic applied. So the first item that we're going to be applying today is a 100% cotton t-shirt. 100% cotton t-shirt, CAD Cut Metallic Purple. One of the nice things about this CAD Cut Metallic material is that not only does it replace your two-step foil, but you can get a couple of different looks out of it. And that's the goal of this first application that we're going to show you. So, Joe, if you'll switch us to the heat press, I am going to load on this t-shirt on the Hotronics Fusion heat press. And I'm threading the garment on, much like you would, onto a screen print press to where I get the flattest um, part of the garment possible. You can see I have the seam coming off of the platen here to where I get a completely flat surface. I'm going to apply a quick two second preheat and my pressure right now is reading at an eight so I'm going to loosen that up just a little bit because metallic requires a medium pressure to be applied. So I have the heat press set at 300 degrees. Our recommended application instructions for CAD Cut Metallic are actually as low as 285 degrees. I'll show you why I'm at 300 on our next application when we get into mixed media. So it will apply at 300, but you can go as low as 285. And I'm going to throw a cover sheet on here. All right, so right now I'm applying at 300 degrees for 10 seconds. And then CAD Cut Metallic is a cold peel. So I'm going to set this garment off to the side and we'll get started with the next one while I wait for this one to cool. Get my cover sheet out of the way. I'm going to remove the shirt and place it face down on the table next to me and grab my next garment. So that was the CAD Cut Metallic Purple. We're going to come back and um, peel off the carrier sheet here <clears throat> momentarily once it has an opportunity to cool. So the next item that I'm going to be applying to. That one was 100% cotton. This one is 50% polyester, 25% cotton, and 25% rayon. So we have a tri-blend tank top that we are applying to. That is one of the really nice things about this metallic material is it is ultra thin and super soft once applied. So it's really good for these super thin fabrics. I believe the microns on the metallic material is 63 microns uh, in thickness. All right, so I have this on here. Again, I'm gonna pull the heat press back over and give a quick preheat for two seconds. Now this particular design I have done in two different materials. So my wayside and these lines here are done in the light blue metallic and the rest of the design is done in fashion film. So I am going to apply my fashion film first. And the reason that I'm going to do that is fashion film is a hot peel and it requires more time and temperature than the metallic does. So hitting it twice is going to be no problem. So I'm going to lay the fashion film down for my placement. I'm going to give it a cover. And then I am only going to hit this, even though I'm set at 10 seconds, I'm only going to hit this for two to three seconds. I'm going to give it a hot peel. Again, just tacking down the design. The sticky carrier of the fashion film allows it to peel hot and right away. 
So that wasn't the full application. I'm going to come back, place my metallic transfer where it belongs here in the design, and then I'm going to give a full metallic application. Okay. And I am going to use a cover sheet to protect my fashion film print while I do that. And I'm going to turn the pressure up just a skosh because what happened was that cotton t-shirt has a higher thickness or higher pile than this tri-blend tank top does. So the pressure required adjustment to get up to that medium pressure. So this is it's a pressure of six for 10 seconds. I'm going to remove my cover sheet. And again, I am going to take this item and put it off to the side and peel it cold in a little bit. And I am going to grab the next item. So the nice thing about this metallic material is it can be combined with so many different looks. Uh, the fashion film, I think, is considered more of a basic look. If we want more of a fashionable, retail-ready for the teen tween market look, we're going to add glitter to this metallic. Now, you'll notice that this is going on a hoodie, and I talked earlier about how we need a flat surface to apply to. There's a seam here in the middle of this hoodie for the pocket, so I'm actually going to change my lower platen from the 16 by 20 lower platen to an 11 by 15. One of the great things about this Fusion Press is that lightning latch on the bottom. I can just unhook it, set my platen over on the ground on the side, and load my 11 by 15. One of the great things about this 11 by 15, which is what makes it one of our best-selling optional platens, is this can be loaded both portrait or landscape on the machine. For this particular design on that particular hoodie, I'm going to load it landscape and lock it in. All right, I'm laying my transfers off to the side to bring my hoodie over. I'm going to thread it exactly the same way as I did the other shirts. And you can see I have this seam falling off the front of the platen, and I have my pocket seam falling off the back of the platen. So I have, and also the sleeve seams are off of the platen. So I have a completely flat surface, which surprisingly, or maybe not surprisingly, depending on how familiar you are with heat printing, one of the most common application um, challenges that we see is people not understanding that the pressure from the machine needs to get fully to the application to make it uh, work and last through laundering. So for this design, I am actually going to lay the whole thing out first to make sure I know because the placement is a bit strange. I shouldn't say strange. The placement is can be challenging with the way that the design is made. Now, um, all of the designs that we are applying today were created in CADWorks Live cloud-based design software, and that's provided to you free of charge through Stahl. So you can go to CADWorks, and Works has an X in it, cadworkslive.com, and open an account and start designing designs like this today. All right, so that's where I want to lay it out. Same approach as the tri-blend with the multicolor application. I'm going to use my cover sheet. Glitter requires more time and more temperature than the metallic, so I'm putting it down first. It also has the ability to be tacked down with just a few second application. So I can peel this now. And then I'm going to come back and lay my metallic transfer in. All right, let's see how good I can do here. For those of you who watch Stahl's classes regularly and you see Jenna on screen, she's the one who typically comes up with these designs. And sometimes she likes to challenge presenters here at Stahl's that aren't used to doing placement like this. All right, so we're going to put this down for 10 seconds at 300 degrees. And as soon as that is done, we'll take it off the press, lay it aside to come back and cold peel at the end. Because we have one more item to press. All right, take that off over to the side. Our last item is probably the most challenging from a fabric, technical fabric perspective. So this is a Soibu zip-up hoodie. And I think you can see it's a it's 
super thin and see-through, and this is where this metallic material, pardon the pun, really shines. Hope everybody enjoyed that. Everybody here in the studio did. All right, so what I'm gonna do is load this garment on. One of the advantages of offering heat transfer as compared to uh, other more traditional decorating methods is the placements that you can get on different items. The placement that we're gonna pull off here on this jacket is actually on the lower back is where we're going to apply this. And I am going to go grab another tool just to where I can get these seams. Uh, actually, I'm gonna grab a smaller platen so I can get these seams off of the press. So wait there with me for one second. And that design is pretty small, so I'm just going to grab a, what is this, a 6x10 platen. I'm going to unload what I did here. And this is one of the reasons that I like having all of the optional platens in the shop here, is that I can make these decisions on the fly, don't have to wait for anything to come in, and I can apply pretty much any item that a supplier can throw at us, really. That's also one of the cool parts about this job is we get some garments from suppliers just to test and see if it's heat transferable at all. Uh, and having all the tools here available to us is extremely helpful. All right, so again, wanted to get these seams off to where I have even pressure. I'm gonna come back and give a quick preheat. And that is so thin that I really have to adjust to get some pressure. I'm still only at a one. There we go. All right. So I have my preheat. I am grabbing the rose metallic material. I'm dropping it down here. The metallic does have a slightly sticky carrier, so it's nice if you get some curling, you can press it down and the uh, carrier is going to stick to the garment to where you're getting a flat application. 10 more seconds and then we'll take this off and go cold peel all of our garments. And then I'm gonna come back to the press after that and show you what happens when we do a second application on the metallic. All right, peel this off of here and let's head back to the table. And while we wait for that to cool before I start peeling, do we have any questions uh, that are coming in that require attention or answers. If you have questions, if you're watching and you want to message those in, I am happy to do my best to answer them. I see someone saying watching from Bangladesh. That is awesome. Uh, of the metallic, Sharon, great. We do too. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the four new colors if you had a chance to try those yet. Virginia Beach, Virginia. That sounds nice. I think you might get a snowstorm here soon. What is snow like at the beach? Is it weird to see snow fall in the ocean? I've never seen that. I want to. Maybe somebody can answer for us. All right, we're ready to peel. Everything's cold here. Joe can't control himself behind the camera. He doesn't know what's wrong with me. All right, so I'm going to peel this design cold. All right, so you can see our shiny finish. And you'll notice that most of the designs that we're gonna do with this uh, particular material, we have targeted at that, um, basically a, a younger design demographic or a younger uh, market. However, this material is also gaining traction for small corporate logos, whether it's on a collar or a sleeve or the left chest. So think about it for that as well. You can achieve uh, pretty fine detail with this. It has, if you're ordering it, uh, from stall services department, it actually has the same uh, cutting line width restrictions as fashion films. You can achieve similar detail as you do with fashion film with the CAD cut metallic. All right, our next item, and we're going to come back to the shirt and apply it over at the press again. Next item was our fashion film combined with metallic. And again, this is the light blue. All right. Okay, so you have your flat matte fashion film print combined with the blue metallic. Again, we're looking at, at basically a one-step foil that is stretchy and soft and thin and light 
on the garment. All right, let's do our glitter design. So the, again, this was the hot pink metallic combined with glitter flake. turned out all right so that's probably the shiniest design that we're going to do and then our last peel is going to be on this ultra thin zip up hoodie which i would consider probably one of the most technical of fabrics this one if i remember correctly and i probably don't so let me just check what our fabric content is to be 100 percent certain this material is 95 percent polyester and five percent spandex so it has some stretch to it for sure. And actually what I'm doing when I'm peeling here is holding as close to the carrier as I can to where I am not stretching that design before I want it to stretch when I'm peeling the carrier away. All right. And I'll give it a little stretch here for you so you can see. With, even with the uh, spandex content in it, it is thin and soft on the garment. So one more trip back to the heat press. I am going to take this design and give it a hit with a craft sheet just to show you how to dull this out a little bit if you prefer or if your customer is looking for more of a dull foil look. So back to the heat press. I am going to change my platen again. And I have options here with the platen because I can either just cover what's with the design if I want to use the 11 by 15 or if I want to put back on my 16 by 20 to cover the whole garment. Either one was going to work with that garment. I'm going to grab the 11 by 15 and throw that on. Lock that in. Grab our shirt. All right, so we can see the design fits perfectly onto there. I'm gonna grab my cover sheet, and we're just gonna hit this for a few seconds to dull out the look. And I forgot the last thing that I applied was our ultra thin garment, so adjusting the pressure back for this T-shirt. And I had that set on a two second preheat, so I'm just giving it a few more seconds than that. And here you don't get so much of the uh, metal look, but it's more dulled out and looks like it's more part of the garment. Okay, so that does it for today's class. We'll take one last look at uh, any comments or questions coming in. Joe, if you can highlight one. How does this hold up in the wash? Um, good question. So this particular material is lab tested for 50 plus washing. So it holds up just like our other CAD cut materials do. Uh, when applied properly, you should expect 50 plus washes. Now we do have a note on the website on the product page that the more you launder it, the less the shine is. So it do does dull out a little bit uh, while being laundered. All right. Uh, can you layer the metallic on top of each other? That is a good question that we will find out the answer for and get back to you. I know metallic will layer on top of other materials. Uh, I don't know if it will layer on top of itself. So we'll come back and reply with a comment on that after the broadcast. But good question. All right. Nothing else. So we appreciate you tuning in today to this Facebook Live broadcast of CAD Cut Metallic. Again, four new colors available, all available on the website right now. You can order in rolled goods under the CAD Cut section of the website, or you can design uh, in our CAD Cut custom design or upload your own artwork, and we'll cut the designs for you. Again, you can do that at stalls.com. Thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure.